What's up YouTube? It is day two of the 100 day challenge and just got home, heading out to feed the animals. Today, the weather is a lot better than yesterday. It's only like 90 degrees right now instead of 100. So I'm not gonna complain and I think these guys back here are hungry. So let's go feed them. All right guys, so as you can see back behind me here, the chickens are getting too big for this pen. So I'm gonna let them free range for the first time. So let's see how they react. Guess they won't come out. All right, so hopefully now they can all free range. I'm hoping they all stay within the fence. Uh, the last set of uh, chickens that we had, they kind of wandered all over the place. So hopefully they'll stay in the yard, learn that this is their home and have fun. Look at all these goats. It's totes my goats, people. Just enjoying a little snack. A little Bambino right here in the middle of everyone. He's getting fat. Look at his little tummy. Let's check in on the quail. Well, it looks like we have a little guard dog over here on the quail pen. Little Hank's doing his job, just sunbathing while keeping an eye on all the quail, make sure everybody's all right. And he's off. Still getting used to us petting him, but pretty little thing, isn't he? Ooh, we got a head button match going on. Bam Bam and little uh, Bill over here. So in case some of you don't know, one of my favorite hobbies outside of barbecuing is fishing. And I think I'm gonna take a little fishing trip this weekend, just to the local lake up here. It's about 10 minutes from the house. I'm gonna try to get up at sunrise on Saturday and see if I catch a couple of bass and maybe catfish or something. But that's one of my, uh, one of my favorite things to do. When I was in South Texas growing up, I always fished. And when I lived out in Louisville, which is about an hour east of here or west of here, I would go out to the lake every weekend and fish, so now that I have a little bit of free time early in the morning on the weekend, I'm going to do some fishing. And like I said earlier, one of my favorite hobbies to do outside of barbecuing is fishing. I just pulled out all the fishing equipment from the barn. It is covered in dust because it has not been used in a while, but man, sure do miss the sight of this, I'll tell you what. Ha! Ah, a beer can inside my... Uh, my fishing tackle box, what are the odds? Ha! Old worms from last year still in my tackle box. What are the odds? Man, I tell you what guys, I am excited for this weekend. I'm gonna try to go early Saturday morning. I gotta see if I still have enough equipment for me. Ha! Huh. Dried out fish from last year in my tackle box. That's kind of gross. But awesome, got my fishing line. I'm gonna redo all three of my fishing poles here. Um, I'm gonna have to go run to Walmart, get some more equipment. I gotta get some leaders, some hooks, weights, all sorts of stuff. But man, I tell you what guys, I am so excited. All right guys, I don't get packages very often, uh, but what I do, I'm super excited on it. Uh, I had two more packages sitting inside the yard when I got home and they are addressed to Jared, the grill master Crocker. I still can't believe that I don't know. I think it's crazy that you guys always send Jason and Jaylena stuff and then uh, since they've been gone, I've been getting packages and it just blows my mind. Um, I can't wait to open it up and show you guys what I got. We'll start with this one since it's the smaller one. I think I need to buy a bigger knife to start cutting all these boxes.
Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Check this out. Texas plates. How awesome is that? That is so cool. When I barbecue or something, and I'll be eating in style. That's cool. Let's see what it says. Oh man, it doesn't say who it's from. Let me check the box real quick. Unfortunately, it did not say who it's from, so guys, if you sent me these Texas plates, please, please, please comment below and let me know. I wanna give you guys a shout out, that's awesome. God bless Texas. On to the big box now, let's see what's in here. This one also does not say who it's from. I'll have to check the, uh, see if there's a tag or something inside of it, but. What could it be, what could it be? Oh, wow. Check this out. Oh, man, I got all sorts of surfing trays. Check this out. I tell you what, every time I go to Walmart and barbecue, well, I don't barbecue at Walmart, if that's what you think, I'm not that redneck. But every time I go to pick up barbecue, I always say I need to get trays to serve the stuff in. But hell, I got 36 of these things now. So man, I am sick. So pumped. Oh yeah. Oh wait. Check out that. Two big things. Uh, Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. Man, look at that. I am gonna eat like a king on my Texas plates while I serve it up in my new dishes and while I cook up my beans and stuff in my new pots. I cannot tell you guys how excited I am about all this stuff. This is just insane, it blows my mind. If you sent me this too, please comment down below. I wanna give you guys a shout out. I cannot tell you how excited I am for all this stuff. It is just blowing my mind, plus, I get to burn all the boxes. And guys, we did have a sad day here at the Crocker house. Um, unfortunately, Stainer did not make it. He passed away the other night. Um, it's, it is sad, but we all know it's just a part of life. But Stainer will always be known as the man, the myth, the legend, Stainer. So I can't thank you guys enough for all the messages that I got on Facebook today and Instagram and just on the Crocker page on Facebook for uh, everybody thinking of us, thinking of this little dude right here. Um, you could tell last night that it was pretty uh, upsetting for Jason and Jaylena. It's the same for me as well. Uh, we pretty much raised the little dude from uh, days old, but um, yeah. Uh, that's just a part of the whole lifestyle we do. Um, I just wanted to give you guys a shout out though for all the messages once again, and uh, just wanted to say thank you.